Sophie Wessex cut a dignified figure in an all-black ensemble as she attended the Remembrance Sunday service today, alongside other royal family members. The Countess of Wessex, 57, appeared somber as she joined her husband Prince Edward and his sister Princess Anne, who both placed wreaths at the Cenotaph in London. The mother of two, who accessorized her outfit with earrings and a necklace made of pearls, stood on a balcony alongside Prince Richard, Duke of Gloucester and Burgett, Duchess of Gloucester. In keeping with her appropriately pared-down outfit, she wore a neat black hat, styling her blonde locks into a low bun beneath it. Sophie also made a poignant nod to the significance of the day through a poppy-shaped brooch she wore pinned to her lapel. Featuring a Swarovski stone, the piece, which is from the poppy shop, costs £29.99. The brooch celebrates women's achievements throughout the services, representing those who have broken boundaries, launched legacies, and been the first to achieve a rank or position within the armed forces. Sophie's appearance comes as the royal family mark a major milestone today, the first Remembrance Sunday service following the death of Queen Elizabeth II. While he has stood in for his late mother in the past, today marked the first time King Charles led the ceremony as monarch. The visibly emotional king placed a new poppy wreath incorporating a ribbon of his racing colors, with the design a tribute to the ones used by both his late mother and his grandfather George VI. Meanwhile Big Ben chimed 11 times at 11 a.m., as it returned to service after years of maintenance and repair. Earlier, at around 10.40 a.m., the march past the Cenotaph paused temporarily while Scottish members of the UK's armed forces, the 4th Battalion of Highlanders, played the bagpipes, accompanied by drums. At 10.58 a.m., the military parade was brought to attention as King Charles III arrived. Big Ben rang 11 times to mark the beginning of the two minutes of silence, and a somber hush fell over the crowd. After the two minutes of prayer and reflection had ended, in an emotional tribute to those killed during the wars of the last century, members of the military played the last post. King Charles III then laid his wreath and saluted to the cenotaph on behalf of the nation. A wreath was then laid on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen Consort, the Prince of Wales then proceeded to lay his wreath, complete with the feathers of the heir apparent. This was the wreath previously laid by his father. The wreath, bearing the colours of the Prince of Wales, also bears a brand new ribbon in Welsh red. The Earl of Wessex and Princess Royal then laid a wreath, before one was laid on behalf of the Duke of Kent. Numerous former Prime Ministers including Liz Truss, Boris Johnson, Theresa May, David Cameron and Tony Blair are also there, some of whom are laying wreaths at the Cenotaph.
Speaker of the House of Commons Sir Lindsay Hoyle also laid a wreath on behalf of the entire House of Commons. The Queen, who died nine weeks ago at the age of 96, considered Remembrance Sunday, which commemorates the war dead, one of the most significant and important engagements in the royal calendar. She first laid a wreath at the Cenotaph in 1945 when she was still a princess. The nation's longest reigning monarch, who lived through the Second World War as a teenager and was head of the armed forces, only missed seven cenotaph services during her reign, including in 2021 due to a back sprain.